Hello, I am Saad Al-Aziz, the owner and head instructor of Semper Fortis Jiu-Jitsu here in San Antonio, Texas, and here to tackle this week's question of the week. And this week's question of the week was, does it matter what color uniform you wear um, when you come to class? And um, the short answer is no. To me, it does not matter what color uniform you wear when you come to class. Um, now, as with all the questions that I tackle, especially to the people in our military community that are going to transfer and go to different schools throughout their journey, it's going to vary from school to school. But in my school, here at Semper Fortis Jiu-Jitsu, um, you can wear any color gi you want. You know, like one of our guys, Dayton, he, he tried to dye his gi and it ended up being a pink gi. And he just sported his pink gi to class and I tried to choke him with it and it's great, you know, like I, it makes no difference to me what color gear you wear. Um, some schools, you know, be like, you can only wear white. Other schools I've seen, you can only wear the three IBJJF um, authorized com competition colors, which is white, blue, or black geese. Some schools are like, uh, you can't wear two-tone geese, and that's sort of ironic. I got an old photo of me and Hoist Gracie on the wall at the school where Always has a white gi top and a blue gi pants. But some schools you can't do that. But in my school, I don't care if the gi is two-tone. I don't care what color the gi is. Honestly, you could come in with a tie-dye colored gi and I'll train with you. I'm good with it. Um, only thing with the gis is um, it needs to be a Brazilian jiu-jitsu or a judo gi. Um, and that's the only reason for that is... Um, this gi is made out of a very thick um, material. And, um, you know, because we do a lot of pulling in our throws and our takedowns. And when we're on the ground, we're pulling on each other's uniforms. So if you came in with like a thin karate or taekwondo or kung fu uniform, like it would just rip and tear because those uniforms aren't designed for that type of training. Um, yeah, like, heck, I even had a guy come in here one time. Um, I think he was he was a kung fu guy. And he had, like, this cool, like, um, black, um, looked like some kind of Shaolin-type uh, uniform that, you know, Bruce Lee would wear back in the day in the, those old 70s movies. And he wanted to train in that uniform. I'm like, dude, you, you know, like, you got little latches on your buttons. Within a few seconds, we're just going to be tearing your buttons off, and we're going to ruin your uniform. So, no, you can't train in your your cool kung fu outfit, you know, and, you know, I just loaned him a Brazilian jiu-jitsu uniform, um, because if you don't have a uniform, you know, to start off, I'll loan you a uniform, and then, um, you know, you just eventually buy it, and whether you buy it from me, or we buy it from some vendor online, or eBay, or Craigslist, or I think they even got Facebook Marketplace, you know, where you can buy them, you know, somebody might be selling a used gi, and, you know, if you look for specifically Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu or Judo Geese, you'll be in business. Um, so, yeah, that's that's our uniform requirements. Like, it doesn't matter to me for the question of the week what color gi you wear um, when you come to train with me. The only things I do look for is I look for you to have a Luis Pajares patch on the front of your gi and a Semper Fortis Jiu-Jitsu patch on the back of your gi if you want to get promoted by me. And what I mean by that is sometimes I get military guys. Like I had a, a guy, Rob, he came in here and he was only going to be, he, he's from Las Vegas. The Air Force had sent him here for a year and a half. And then he was going to go back to Bas Las Vegas to train, you know, continue to train with um, Benny Magalayas, who was his instructor. And so the whole time Rob was here, I was like, you know, I'm not promoting you, you know, because you're Benny's student. And, um, you know, so... He could continue to wear, you know, Vinny's patches. You know, like, that's not a big deal to me. But just realize that if you're training here and you come here and, I don't know, you're wearing a Gracie Baja patch on your uniform every day or, you know, um, a Brazilian top team patch or whatever, that I will never promote you while you're wearing that patch, you know, because you're indicating that you are someone else's student. Like, I'm, I will train you, you know, and I'll, you know, work with you and help you progress and just like I did with Rob, like, um, you know, I, Rob came to me as a purple belt and I was in Las Vegas at the Master Worlds and I talked to Vinny and, 
Vinny was like, hey, I think he's about ready for his brown belt. What do you think? And I'm like, absolutely. You know, let's promote Rob to brown belt. So like, you know, for my students that are here just, you know, for a, a short period of time, you know, like stay loyal to your team or, you know, you know, especially if you're going back to that team. So I don't require them to switch over to my team, you know, while they're here. And, you know, they can continue to promote under their, you know, their old instructor. And I'll work with that instructor, you know, to get you where you need to be. So just be aware of that. Like, if you come in and, like, you don't have any patches on your gi or you have some other school's patches on your gi, you know, it's, like, not a big deal to me. It's just I'm not promoting you, you know, because I'm not sure if you're on my team, you know. So if you want to be on the team, you know, get your Luis Pajara patch on the front, Simple Fortis patch on the back, and then I know, oh, you know, he's one of my students, you know, he's, he or she is with me for the long term, and, um, you know, I'm going to be looking at this person to promote. So, yeah, that's this week's question. Does not matter what color gi you come in to, to class with, you want to be fashionable, you know, a purple gi, pink gi, tie-dye gi, you know, whatever colors, I'm okay with it. Matters to me not, you know, just as long as it's a Brazilian jiu-jitsu gi, and we can work with it, you know, like, and you can train with it because I don't want you to come in with something that's just going to tear and shred. All right, that's it for this week's question. If you got a question for next week, post your comment down below or do what you normally do and just see me in class and say, hey, you know, what about this? And I'll make a video of it and that'll be the question for next week. All right, have a great week and I will talk to you soon. Ciao.